It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. We're on beer number 22 of the Brewer's Advent Calendar from Germany. The original Calais that I picked up in Costco for £56. Three beers to go then. It's all getting very Christmassy. It's, it's not even light this morning. Um, not completely light anyway. Quarter to nine this morning. But we're going to do beer number 22. Let's get it out of the box. Got this from Costco, as I said, £56, and what's really fascinating about this box of beer is that I've been having a lot of comments from America, because a lot of the, because Costco's an American company, uh, the beer is generally exported from Germany over to America, and they must have thought along the way, oh, we'll throw some into the UK. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of people who have been commenting have not been necessarily from the UK, but America, which is really cool. Uh, this is an original Pils from Schlossbrau Aroda. Um, again, sorry for my German pronunciation; it's probably completely wrong. Um, product of Germany, original Pils. Then four point seven percent ABV, half liter, five hundred milliliter can. Let's get this beer out into a glass. See what we get. Pills. Yeah, let's use this 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 nice looking glass here. <clears throat> Whoa, look at that. We got a three finger white head on this beer. Uh, nice levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. This Again, there's always a little bit of haze with a German beer, which is absolutely fantastic. It's micro haze, it's micro filter, it's, it's micro particles really in the glass. If you have a look closely, you can see it floating around. I mean, it's clear enough. It's clear enough for you to enjoy the beer and drink the beer. But at the same time, I like that sediment. Because the sediment is flavour, they're not flushing all of the flavour away and, and, and making the beer crystal clear. Because when you do that, you're taken away from the beer, you're taken away from the flavour. Let's get the aroma then. It's a straw, light straw coloured ale. Aroma. Hmm. It's a good one. Stinging nettles, spice, a little bit of light malt, crispy flavours coming through, wafer like malts. It's like lemony aroma going on. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. I think this is one of the best pills I've ever tasted in my life. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, what a beer. What I did to start off with was hold the, hold the liquid in the mouth for a little bit. You feel that carbonation hissing and fizzing and pushing that beer on the inside of the mouth, releasing more of that flavour. It is so drinkable, it's so refreshing. But then it has that classic kind of Pilsner bite. That classic Pilsner bitterness on the back end. But at the same time as being quite a raw bitterness, to be honest, between like a like a lemon peel, like biting on a lemon peel. Really pithy kind of bitterness. And then and then you're picking up that kind of that wafer light malt at the same time. Tremendous, tremendous. Tasting beer. 
Should have finished my sentence. I was dying to get back in. I, I nearly didn't finish my sentence then. Yeah, that's really good. Really, really, really good beer. We've had a big selection of, I would say mainly Heller's Lagers, if I'm perfectly honest. Oh, we've had an Imperial Pills in the box, in, the, in this box. Uh, we've had a couple of other Pilsners, but generally it's been a lot of Heller's Lager. But I've liked the balance. It's now getting to the end of the box. We've got two beers to go. But the balance of this box, selection of Heller's Lager, selection of... Pilsners, there's been a few Weiss beers, there's been a, a, a Dunkel Weiss, there's been a, a like like a box style Weiss, I think at the, at the middle of the, around the 15th, I think we had like a Bock. Uh, we've had, well, I've not had the Vienna Lager yet, I don't think I've had the Vienna Lager. But yeah, anyway, there's, there's been a big selection of beer and it's all been very, very decent tasting beer. So... Um, getting to the end of the box, I suppose I'll give you my answer on the 24th. Would I buy this box again for £56? But I, I think so far, great value for money. It's turned out to be £56 for the box, 48 beers in the box. No, no, sorry, 24. 24 beers, not 48. I'll double that then. But it works out at, at around £2 a can, which is... To every single beer I've not tried, every single beer I've not tried, and it's just been really good value for money, especially drinking really good German beer like this. Um, good stuff. And I, I imagine this goes down really well in Germany with the the pills drinkers, the the, the great lager beers that are in. Germany. I was in Germany back in the summer. Um, I'm a Pils lover myself. Um, one of my favourite Pilsners is Warsteiner. So I had a, whilst I was in Germany uh, back in the summer of 2021, <clears throat> I had a free afternoon to myself without, because it was all about kind of going to different events all over the place. And I had this one little window of opportunity to spend a bit of time on my own. And I I found this um, Thai, this Thai restaurant. And I had a bowl of like chicken with noodles and it was tremendous. But apart from that, I ordered a, the beer on tap there was Warsteiner Pilsner. And the sun was shining in August. It was a lovely warm day. Add this war steiner, enjoying this war steiner. I was just, it was just one of those like almost perfect beers. Enjoying the moment, enjoying the weather, enjoying the food, enjoying my time in Germany. And it was just great to have this really good Pilsner. So it's the reason why I love the style of beer as much as I do. Heller's Lager, Pilsner's, um, really good German Pilsner. It's because there's so much flavour. There's so much flavour, but there's so much balance to the beer at the same time. Right, let's read the side of the can. Oh, it's Private Brewery Eggera. Slowbrow Roder, original pills. Right. Private Brewery Eggera. There, there, there's been a few of these Eggera beers in the box. Um, in fact, 2021 has been the year of me drinking Private Brewery Eggera's beers. I mean, I started off by walking around my local shop, um, which used to be a pub years ago. Uh, I picked up their Vice beer. Um, and then a few of the Agora beers have been in this box. I've tried a few of their beers now. Uh, the ingredients are water, uh, hops, barley malt, and of course yeast, but they don't mention the yeast on the can. Product of Germany, again, yeah, in, in, exported to the US. You've got all of that kind of government warning here. Don't let pregnant women drive tractors and all that kind of rubbish on the side of the can anyway let's rate it um slow brown odor original pills 4.7 percent abv really good looking beer nice bit of lacing good levels of carbonation nice aroma 
Fantastic taste. Mm. Great stuff. I like that beer, I really do. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. A 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. One of the, a really solid beer to nearly finish the box off. A really good solid beer. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Boom. Cheers.